The American Library Association has celebrated and educated around uh, Banned Books Week, which is, takes place later in September uh, for many years now. And Laudit has participated by doing some smaller displays, gathering um, books that have been banned and challenged nationwide. This year, with all of the increases in bans and challenges in the last couple of years, uh, a group of Laudit staff got together, collaborated, and brainstormed some ideas of how we could more broadly educate our community on these very relevant issues and also make it a little fun to participate. So we have in the atrium of our library a banned books exhibit, and it has educational panels with infographs and charts and explanations of words, definitions of uh, common book banning terms like ban and censorship so that patrons walking through the library can better understand what's going around um, in media when people talk about ban book banning. And libraries are really a foundation of intellectual freedom. And so we want to help everyone understand how the library supports your intellectual freedom. Our exhibit also features lots of physical books that we have pulled from our collections. These are books that have been banned or challenged nationwide over the, about the last 50 years. Um, these are pulled from American Library Association's lists, and this gives you a really wide um, understanding of the types of challenges that can come up from any reasons from mentions of witchcraft or evolution or characters who represent something that can be seen as controversial, uh, examples of racism. We have a lot of um, books on this year's top 10 band list that have representation of LGBTQIA characters. And uh, it's interesting to see how many books from our collection really surprise patrons when they're walking through. Uh, the third element to our uh, monthly educational and challenge effort is our reading challenge. Um, we always encourage reading at the library and uh, we encourage patrons to participate by reading, listening to audiobooks, reading magazines. Any type of reading counts for this challenge um, while we're discussing, educating, and encouraging people to think critically about challenged books. It doesn't have to be a banned book that people are reading. They can read whatever they have access to, whatever they're comfortable reading, uh, whatever um, inspires them in the moment. We also have some fun activities to go along that really encourage um, all ages to participate in just learning about how to support their intellectual freedom, how to stand up against censorship, and how to participate in the community. Uh, after patrons get so many points, they get to spin a prize wheel and they just they get a fun prize um, on top of getting to read.